Okay, hello there, it's Jalmari from kingoffinal.com, straight out of Helsinki, Finland, and today we're talking about intuition. That's super kind of trendy thing, people talk a lot, and, and also I can hear that uh, people are saying that they are like uh, making business decisions based on intuition, but that's super kind of uh, unreliable way if, if you are not kind of at the top of, of the game how it works so today i'm going to tell you kind of a thing you need to consider before you rely on your own or someone else's intuition okay so first thing is why it's crucial well if we think about business growth it's just uh, any business growth is is just outcome of very long series of decisions and, and there are like uh, correct decisions and, and, and failed ones. And that's normal, but the ratio needs to be positive a lot. Okay, and now, now we start to dig a little bit deeper. So just to keep things simple, we, we split intuition in two parts. There is the so-called everyday intuition, and then there is so-called expert intuition. And, and the first one, the everyday intuition, is super unreliable because it, it bases like, like 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 the things you feel. It, it comes so much from your current state of mind. So how do you feel today? What's the level of your blood sugar? Are you happy? Are you stressed? How was your last weekend? It is it. And and if if. So, so if, if you make complicated decisions based on that, there's not really connection to reality. So making big business decisions based on this everyday intuition uh, is going to end in a very catastrophic way. Okay, so that's the first kind of uh, intuition category. And now the next one is this expert. This so-called expert intuition, it bases on your experience and knowledge throughout whatever you have done, throughout your career. So it's kind of like all the data that is stored in, in, in deep in, in your memory and subconscious mind. And like we know, subconscious mind is, is kind of like the powerhouse of, of human brain and it's wonderful, super complicated, super computer, ish organ and 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 or, or kind of like piece of our uh, our psyche anyway in, in this expert intuition it's it's just like because the intuition is, is kind of like way for human to make ma uh, fast decisions and, and to save energy and no kind of practical example of these two uh, intuition types so for example there's a lot of stories how successful people have lost huge amount of money for example in investing so let's say you are for example super kind of experienced fellow investing in b2b software so you have been living and breeding that field from years or maybe decades and and maybe and you have Maybe you have built your own businesses or working in those or, or invested. And then finally, some of you, those investments have made exits. Okay, so you have been successful in that field. Now you get some money and you start to reinvest that somewhere. And you, for example, you jump in medical industry. And, 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 and the challenge is that when you come from business, B2B software and you jump in medical industry, of course there are like commonalities, but you don't really know still anything about that field. So investing with that background in the B2B software is, is this uh, expert intuition, and then investing in, in, in this healthcare is this everyday intuition. And so, so, so the challenge is there that it gives kind of like when you have this expert intuition, you so easily mix it up and it gives you kind of a false confident feeling that you actually 
also control the situation. But, but the challenge is that, like I said, you don't in your mind, mind and your memory, there's no experience of the medical industry. And now when your kind of a, a mind is, is generating these, these feelings of intuition, it doesn't base on reality. It just comes like from somewhere. So it's actually everyday intuition, even you feel that it's, it's, it's the same that you have than always. So that's kind of a practical example. And now what you can do in action with this. Next time you feel or, or, or you, you hear that someone says that, yeah, I have good, good feeling. I have a good intuition, good gut feeling about this topic. Maybe we should do like this. Then you, then you just ask like, okay, so are you sure you really know about it? You really know about this? Or is it more like just everyday gut feeling? And, and you can really like start to interview and ask, okay, so what, what have you done? On, on this topic like like do you do you really know if you have good intuition that this for example a person who wants to come to work in your in your company so how, how, how like like how, how long have you been doing like HR things so so what what does it like is it, is it really your expertise or is it just the fact that human mind wants to be right and make fast decisions to not consume too much energy okay that's all today and hopefully hopefully you got my point uh, it's kind of like a super well it's not complex topic and and there was some like uh, uh, I, 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 I little little bit simplified but anyway hopefully I delivered my points okay thanks bye